hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again in this video tutorial we're going to learn how to make a network cable a straight through network cable or a patch cable so we need a crimping tool we need rg45 connectors we need our cable tester and then we need the network cable itself which is a cat 6 network cable so going through this video we're going to learn first of all learn about the various parts of the RJ45 connectors to know the roles that they play in this um, in the network cable. So we have the, the eight copper pins, and each copper pin has the three prong tooth, which will be pushed into the wires when you terminate them in this RJ45 connector. Or any other RJ45 connector. We also have the strain relief. The strain relief after crimping the cable in the connector will sit on the outer shield or the outer cover of the cable to make it firm. And then also we have the retaining latch. The retaining latch um, makes makes sure that the connector is firmly connected to your network ports without it being loose. If it breaks you will see that whenever you connect your connector into the network ports, the connector will be loose in the port. So we went ahead or I went ahead to strip the cable. Then I'll push them back so that I'll, I'll be able to cut the middle thing from it. So I went ahead and then cut that middle thin from it and then the next thing I did was to straighten the cable or to straighten the wires by arranging them in the order of um, the order of a straight through network cable color coding so the white orange came first and then the orange followed. After that the white green also followed and then after the white green the blue wire followed. And then after the the blue wire the white blue wire also followed and then the green wire followed and then the last pair to follow are the white brown and then the brown wires once the wires are arranged in the order of the color coding for a straight through cable as you can see, we have the white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. The video is a little blur, so you may not be able to see it well. So, I went ahead and then cut the extra from it just to make sure that I get the right um, length to push into the RJ45 connector. So I took the RJ45 connector, turned it upside down, and then gently pushed the wires through the connector so that each wire will take one slot in the connector. The connector has eight slots, eight wire slots, so, so each wire takes one. Once you firmly push it in, you should have something like that. You can check your color coding again once you push it in, just to make sure that mm -hmm. you have your color coding right. So the next thing I did was to take my crimping tool and then from here you have to make sure to know where to insert the the connector with the cable in there so over here this is the side where the 
crimping will be done where the what the, the copper pins will be pushed down onto the wires so you have to make sure to push the connector to through the opposite side of it just like as um, we are seeing in the video so as you can see I'll go I went ahead and then crimped took the cable out and you can see that so now you can see that the three prunch um, pins or the trip three prunch tooth on the pins have been pushed into the wires and the one we are looking at right now is the brown wire you can see that the pin has been pushed into it and then the the strain relief has also been pushed onto the outer shield the gray outer shield or outer cover of the cable making it very firm in the connector and then also you can see the retaining latch it's um it's not broken it's looking really good for a network um, cable so with the retaining latch not broken you're always um, assured of a firm connection to a network port so behind the scenes i went ahead and then did the the other end of the cable using the same color coding using the same color coding since we are doing a straight through or a patch cable so i took my cable tester connected uh, one end of the cable to the eight ports on the tester the tester has an eight port and then a six port six ports for telephone cables and then i took the other end connected it to the eight ports on the other side of the or the other parts of the connector and then i turned the, the the tester on and as you can see what once you have your color coding and everything is good all the lights on the on both sides of the tester should come on from port one or from pin from pin one or from port one to eight all the lights should come on just as we are looking at in this video so yes guys this is a quick one on how to make a network cable a straight through cable or patch cable thanks for watching please subscribe like and share this video and then i will see you in another video thank you and bye